Hello there guys, today we are sitting down and we are testing out one of your teams that you've sent in during the week and apologies that it is later on in the week, like literally Friday today, just got caught up with a few other things, but that's allowed us to bring in an inform card. So thank you to Andreas, he has also included the cheap legend deco in this team and it's a cheapish foot champion side. I know a few people have been asking for cheaper teams, so hopefully this either inspires you to create something similar or you can even copy it. So drop a like guys, if we can aim for over 1000, that'd be awesome. If you're needing game codes or anything game related, head over to g2a.com, use the code Fuji for cash back, and let's go. So I'm sure a load of you guys watching this video will want to send in your teams. So going forward from now, just so I can keep it under control and monitor it a little bit better, I want every single one of you to use the hashtag YourTeamFuji when sending in any tweets to me if you're showing off your teams or just posting them on Twitter. So it's hashtag YourTeamFuji. It will be in the comments in the description for you guys to copy and paste. So make sure to include that hashtag, then post your foothead, footwiz links, footbin, whatever you use to send in your teams and also include your custom tactics and player instructions so the team today was sent in from Andreas so I really appreciate that and if it wasn't for your team and I love this series I would never really drop in someone like Zagwe because I don't feel that that would appeal to many people but it just allows me to test out these uh, informs and I've got to say his card looks fantastic 13,500 coins seven games no goals one assist he's not really going to be a goal scorer every single game I play in division one so it's a fair test and his stats look incredible 84 passing 83 dribbling standout stats there high high work rates and he was really doing a good job for me breaking up the play going forward uh, but he didn't score any goals which was a little unfortunate and I did get him into goal scoring like positions and he just didn't have the best of shots going through the full team though in goal we have the second most expensive player in the side which is Hugo Lloris if you don't feel that you need to spend that much on a keeper he's fantastic by the way if you don't want to spend that you can drop in Jack Butland or any alternative uh, Premier League uh, goalkeeper Smolnikov in the right back position I've used him previously and he is amazing really do like him on the game order viral never used him until this point this is the upgrade order viral and he was doing a good job he's got medium medium work rates his pace isn't really much of an issue he can just read the game really well that's what i was feeling anyway from this card cabaselli does have pace next to him and he's overpowered danny rose awesome vitzel was doing a good job for me and what i've noticed if you know how to defend and just read the play man mark cut the passing lanes then you don't really need like incredible pace the way I was defending before as soon as my opponent was on the ball I'd take players like Kante, Matthias and literally leg it towards them to try and dispossess and it's not really the best way to defend and that's why I've noticed that slower players now I don't feel that they're much of an issue in that CDM position so with the way I'm defending and playing these days I think I could get away with using in Zonzi, for example, who's a good card, man. He's a very good card. So right centre mid position, uh, inform uh, Zagoev. Left centre mid Fernandinho. The cheap legend Jeko. Uh, Ze no, Deco. That's the one, not Jeko. Jeko, Deco. Oh my. He turns up for me every single time I've used him. Danny, seven games, four goals, one assist. Maybe Andreas is using him because I've used him previously with uh, Giuliano. This card, man. Four star week for four star skill moves. Overpowered shots trust me use him and then come back to me and and show me your stats because he's a very good card and up top we have a Giuliano team in the group stage and uh, Gabriel Jesus two five-star skillers four-star four-star you can just feel what kind of attack it's going to be playing like agility dribbling amazing really fun to use so the player instructions we need to go through that he kept it simple I think it was um uh, balanced oh no I don't think I've set them I don't think I've set them. So give me a second. I'll set them and I'll come back. So we are back in business. I just had to copy over the play instructions once again. I accidentally changed up the formation before recording this video and it got rid of them. I'm a noob. Going through it though. Drift wide and getting behind for two strikers, which which is interesting because I don't really use that tactic. When I'm set up in the 4-1-2-1-2 or any narrow formation, the reason for that is because I want to play narrow and compact. It was good though. I think I was able to keep uh, possession a little bit better and it was more to do with the gameplay though as well. When it's smooth and responsive, you you are in full control. You know that if you lose the ball, it's down to what you've done and I feel that I was uh, playing some nice football. Conceding goals, losing games, yes, but I was playing some good football and I've definitely improved my my game. So the two strikers, um, yeah, drift wide getting behind. Vitzel cut the passing lanes and stay back while attacking and the two fullbacks to stay back while attacking. It is best advised to always use that 
tactic. If you're someone that is struggling that your fullbacks are pushing up a little bit, it is like down to your speed. Uh, chance creation and someone did say that uh, it has something to do with your crossing as well I didn't really notice them bombing up too much I just felt that it was natural they were helping support the play and just hold possession so the custom tactics that Andreas did in fact use 70 speed 53 passing positioning on free form and uh, the chance creation all that you guys can copy his defense though 50 50 50 balanced exactly straight down the middle and it was working and it was more to do with the way i'm defending these days i'm not rushing in my players i'm just making sure that i'm cutting off any of the supply and then going in for the challenge it just uh it allows me to to keep my cool a little bit just keep composed and when your opponents are inside your box don't panic and run everyone out just try and keep your cool and just allow your cpu to take out good positions but anyway guys let's go and test out this team and see how i got on with it so the team cost me roughly sixty thousand coins to put together and when the gameplay is good it doesn't matter if you're using a cheap team with 70 short pass or even 60 as long as you're keeping it simple and you're minimizing the risk of what you're wanting to to do in the attack you're going to be able to keep possession and build up play and compete against division one and weekend league standard players and that's what i was feeling with this team it was doing the basics very well in the attack the two strikers they've got something in common five star skills even deco the cheap legend deco or danny from zenit in that cam position all three attackers have agility dribbling and just responsiveness to the game and trust me danny his finishing is so overpowered you cannot deny it try him out tweet me how you've got on with him he's gonna score goals and he feels so good like the ltrt skill dribbling with danny is uh, unbelievable so the attack i didn't really have too much of an issue with they all can pick up goals they're all good at, at dribbling it's just the height and the strength so if you're someone that is more predominantly dribbling and and skilling then go for this attack if you're relying on those like bruisers or just people that can bully their way through then you are not really going to get on with it you have to be a little bit more technical and just enjoy yourself really and that's what i was doing so drop him back to the midfield Zagwev in form for 10,000 coins was it or well, 11,000 coins a pretty good card surprisingly his dribbling was uh pr was good and his uh well, ability to break up the play was fantastic. Witzel in that CDM position didn't really notice his pace to be that bad as I was changing up my style with the way I was defending. Uh, Fernandinho though, as you've already got a defensive player in Zagoev and Witzel, I think another defensive player is a little bit overkill and the attack was lacking because of that, just the build up play. As I was like bombing it up to the strikers and just creating a, tri a triangle in between those, I didn't really notice it too much, but if you're not like that and you want to just slowly build up, then I don't think this team is going to suit you as much. So an, an alternative, you can bring in Kevin De Bruyne in that sentiment position just to add a little bit more of the attacking threat. If you're someone that is struggling with defending, then keep it the way it is because it was good. Like defensively, it was solid in the midfield and then dropping back to the actual defenders, all the I actually liked. Medium, medium work rates, getting in some good tackles. Uh, Cabaselli overpowered and the two fullbacks were terrific. So I'd actually give this team a four out of five star it's a four out of five star for sixty thousand coins could i use it in the weekend league i think so while i was smashing in division one yes losing games and also conceding goals but for sixty thousand coins really enjoyed it so thank you ever so much to andreas if you guys have got teams that you want to send in tweet me and uh, i will see you very soon with some more ultimate team content team out Oops.